This is Günther. And if there's one thing, it's not being like him. Ich brauche eine Pause. Boah, ist das anstrengend. Was ist denn das für ein Timer? Instead, get yourself a car and move around the island faster and safer. Still, it's not going to be a walk in the park to gather all the needed things for a first car, but this video might help you out to set your foot in a car faster than you think, especially if you're new to the game. Let me explain. So, how do you get your first car? Well, the first thing you should do is to search for car wrecks. There will be two types of those. One, which is completely broken down, with no motor inside, but still a few parts to dismantle. And a second one, which has a motor, but might miss a lot of other things. This would be the one you want to repair. You can repair the ones without a motor too, but you need to push them towards a trailer to install one. Even though there is no fame point limit to obtain a motor, it will take you a lot longer just to get there. And that's why you should focus on the ones with the motor first. So the question is, where do you find In those Garagen. car wrecks? In Garagen! Oh man, das Garagen. ist jetzt nicht Ernst. In Garagen! Komm, jetzt, jetzt geh mal weg da! Hey, hey, ich hey, hab jetzt hier zu erzählen. Mach mal, mach mal einen Abflug hier. Nee, nee, komm, ich rede jetzt geh. Hallo, ich möchte dir jetzt hier erzählen. Nee, du hast jetzt nicht zu erzählen. Uh, behold, friends, the mighty website of scummap.com provides you with anything you need. This is a magnificent tool which allows you to filter any location or object your desperate soul desires. With just one click, the map will magically show you all locations you can probably find your long awaited dream car or specific buildings and point of interest where things are to be found. The appearance of a car is not 100% guaranteed. Thanks for your understanding and goodbye. So, having an idea where those cars spawn, you run around the map looking for those spots. Don't worry, this might sound more tedious than it actually is. Spawns are rather common and you definitely should find a few vehicles along the way within your first hours of gaming. However, it might be that other players have locked up some vehicles even though they are not working. This is something you may also consider doing in order to not lose progress you already made repairing a car because another player steals it from you. But don't be a douchebag and lock up every single car you find. Other people want a car as well and you should at least play fair to some degree. So, now you've found a car, but it's missing some parts. In most cases, it's missing some tires, a battery and an alternator. Maybe the driver's seat as well. Finding a battery should be the easier part, as you can find it in mechanical buildings, garages, or even rip it off from other cars. Same goes for the driver's seat, but it's rather rare to find inside garages and such. An alternator might be harder to find, as it's mostly also not available in broken down cars, but you can still drive the car even without one. I will come to that later in this video. Always look into garages and workshops on your way and make sure to grab a battery and an alternator as soon as you stumble across one of them. This makes things easier in the long run. In order to rip off parts from cars you need a car jack so you can set them up for service. For some reason while I was making this video I wasn't in need of a toolbox to rip off parts. Maybe this is a bug or they changed it and you don't need them anymore, but I remember you used to, or maybe I'm wrong. Just keep a toolbox with you at any time just in case if this might turn out to be a bug. Now. Let's jump to the point where your car is only missing the tires. In the worst case, it's missing all four, but most of the time you will be missing two or three of them. Again, you can rip off tires from other broken down cars the same model, or find them inside garages or workshops with some luck. A place where you will definitely find tires would be the scrapyard in B0 on the right side of the map. Depending on your spawn location, this might take some time to get there, but it's a guaranteed loot location when it comes to this. If you decide to go there, search for the big tire piles and grab the ones you need. If you don't know which one fits your car, hold the control key on your keyboard while hovering over the item with your mouse and it will give you some information about the item and which car it's used on. In order to carry as much tires as possible, I recommend taking another traveler's backpack with you. In this backpack you can fit two tires. Any other backpack works as well, you just might need to make another one. If you can't find yourself a traveler's backpack, a common spawn for those is inside gas stations. Now, the only thing you need to do is to set up the car for service again with the car jack, equip the items you want to add to the car and you are done. However, you might still end up having one or more of the following issues. The car is low on gas and the gas station isn't nearby, the battery is empty, you are missing the alternator, or you only have three working tires. If the car is low on gas, you should have known this from the moment on where you found the car. Therefore, you should also look for gasoline cans, take one with you and if you stumble over another car with a small amount of gas in it, or even yet another gasoline can, fill up the one you take with you and empty it into your car as soon as you are back. You only need enough gas inside your car to get to the next gas station, which normally isn't that far away. Alternatively, you can just push the car to a gas station. This will just take some time. 
But what if your battery is empty? Well, one thing you could do is to charge the current one with another one you found, but you would need a battery cable for that and hope for the car to start with a bare amount of energy left, or you could jumpstart the car. For that you should push the car towards a small slope steep enough to get the car rolling. While the car is moving it should load the battery, if you have an alternator installed of course, and the engine will start after a while. This isn't possible if you don't have an alternator. If that is the case you should load your battery as good as you can, get the car running and search for an alternator. If you need to leave the car for whatever reason and you are out of energy, hold the shift key while pressing F to get out of the car. That way you keep the engine running and don't get stranded somewhere unsafe. You can just get back in any time and keep on driving. If your car only has got three working tires and all other needed parts are installed, you can still drive it. It might not be the best way to do it, but it's working. You should keep in mind though that driving like this will damage it over time and the steering is harder to control. Due to that you should rather drive slow and avoid driving off roads. Okay, now you know how to get and set up your first car, but here's one more thing. Questions? You didn't ask yet, but I will answer anyway. Pushing a car uphill sometimes is not possible and if you're not paying enough attention it might even roll downhill with you again. Stop pushing and nudge the car in the direction you need. That way it's quite easy to move the car over a longer slope or else. You won't get all your car parts in one run, cause you're limited to your inventory space. One thing you should do is, if you locked your car, put the already gathered items inside of it and repair the car as soon as you have everything together. Or, what I would rather do is, craft a chest and bury it somewhere nearby. In case someone lockpicks your car, you won't lose all the items again and maybe can use them on another car. Even if you don't have a door in the front left of the car, but you still locked it, people won't be able to get inside. If your car can't drive but has enough tires, hide it somewhere in the woods and mark the location with a flag or else so you find it again. Don't let it stand too long where you found it yourself, as other players will come across it as well. Depending on the server you are playing on, there is a set amount of maximum working or buyable cars. If that number is already maxed out, you can't buy a car or even a motor for a broken down one. Cars despawn after a specific time. Default value for this are 10 days. Make sure to use your car frequently. That way the despawn timer gets reset. You can install new parts or even armor at a mechanic in an outpost for a specific cost. For that you just drive the car over the lifting platform and buy the parts you want. If you got the car working and want to refuel the car at a gas station, you need your bank card for this. If you're a fresh spawn, you might not have enough money or haven't deposited any in your bank account yet. If you don't have enough money, loot every single bed inside towns or villages or cash registers inside shops as you can find good amounts of money in there. If you got yourself some money, use the scummap.com to look for the nearest ATM and deposit some money. If you destroyed your bank card or even lost it, well, too bad. Have fun running towards the next outpost and get yourself a new one. With that said, good luck surviving. <laughs>